Boom, baby! What's up, guys? It's Grand Marquis here. This time with the blog, Dog at the Blog, from Honeywell Sims 4 News. And he or she, I'm pretty sure it's a she, did this article. Ish thing. It looks like an article. It's actually a blog, but it looks legit like a magazine. But it's talking about Sims 4, you know? And it's super small, so I'm going to have to zoom in. But right now, I just kept it out so that you can see the picture. Sims 4, single player offline. Why Max's new life simulator is music to our ears. But yes. So, okay. We've seen this picture before. This is one of the first leaked pictures. And let's move it on. We get a little new details. I read over it before. But I couldn't highlight this. So I'll probably most likely read it. Super small. This time with. I forgot what it says. I think emotion. We'll see. Cover story. Maxis is known for working within this formula, fleshing out and reorganizing elements in new itinerations rather than reinventing the wheel. I sort of feel like that was offensive. They was like, oh yeah, Maxis don't know how to make new stuff. They just make, rehash it, which is sort of what they do do. But hey, we still love The Sims. Uh, Megan O'Neill visits the California studio expecting to learn how new features might pan out, but also leaves appreciating why the series has made its mark on her. One thing I want to note. That hairstyle right there. I realized that that hairstyle was not shown in the creator sim at Gamescom. Like, so that's that's proof right there that they're not done. Because they showed this hairstyle. And they showed it with that chick and her husband or boyfriend who I love. And I like that hairstyle. Okay. So, I'm going to zoom in so that we can read it a little bit better. You can probably read it. I sort of can too. But it would just be better if I zoom in. Once I find out how to zoom in. I found out how to zoom in. 150? Mm-hmm. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. So, this introduction has become a music history lesson. Okay, this is just comparing the Sims to history. And the Sims 4 ice cubes striking the inside of a glass sound as triatone, so briefly foreshadowing the player's failure to mix a nice drink. I still feel like that's sort of offensive. Okay. Yes, there have always been secrets to discover, often over subconsciously in sim games from hidden skills to simulation language. Having been invited to EA Redwood Shores to see the game of production, it was hardly surprising recognizing phrases like affectionate new boo or frustrating chihuahua choo choo just around the office. Again, I don't know. Eh. But anyway, this time with feeling, that's what it says. In The Sims 4, the new generation gets angry and sad and inspired and the whole gamut of emotions. That hairstyle wasn't in the um, creator sim. I don't remember if this one was. It might have been. I don't know. Not for sure. Okay. If you lost, that's because you. If that you lost, that's because you missed 13 years of conditioning. So, the original game combined Maslow's hierarchy of needs. This needs the series has opened up expansively, now being inspired by shared imagination of designers and players. It spans out concepts like want fears, personal aspiration, self-driven achievement, emergent gameplay, community, love, relationships, nature, the supernatural, customization, and architecture from houseboat to the subterranean tone. Tomb. So what's next? What's even left to explore? And that that's that's the thing that I was saying too. You know, people were complaining like, really, the big thing that bring it to the Sims 4 is multitasking or emotions. I mean, what's 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 so amazing about that? But you have to realize, you they they brought a lot into the series. There's only so far you can go. Like The Sims 5, I can't even imagine what they're going to bring. And I couldn't even imagine what The Sims 4 was going to bring. So, you know, multitasking isn't as big as aging or an open world. And we know the world's still fully not open. There's still some rabbit holes. But it is something new, I guess, they're bringing. Because you can only go so far. I mean, you can add aging. You can add... A big open town and then you you can add emotions and multitasking but you know it goes so far so I mean by the time the Sims 10 come out they're not really gonna be doing anything but adding do group new graphics cuz you, you run out of things you run out of groundbreaking things to add to the gameplay but 
Executive producer Rachel Franklin says, Transforming your sims into thinking emotional beings in a way that embraces the mind, the body, the heart, as where as well as being emotionally aware of themselves, this next generation of people are much more easier for players to relate to and empathize with. Gameplay decisions lead to cascading poignant consequences and there are new finger points to animation. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Sims may angrily stomp around, for example, and facially variation is strongly tied to the emotional state. We notice the difference between angry and sad Sims down to the eyebrows. If you hadn't realized, that's my Rachel Franklin voice, even though she doesn't exactly talk about that. Okay, one of the ways the Sims may be defined is through their emotional progression. Okay, the character evolves as you meet her desires. So that's pretty cool. So... As, as, as was stated earlier, they add on, emotions add on. It's like a temporary trait. So if you can unlock the sociopath trait, see? So there are five traits. There are not only five traits. So emotions work as temporary traits, literally. So with your emotion, you can get new traits. So if you unlock the sociopath trait, she would get fun from torture. I wonder what kind of torture it would be. Because, you know, Sims isn't too much on torture. If she is the person, she will be less effective at work. Unless she is a writer, of course. So I guess being sad can help as a writer because you can write great stories. If your Sims feeling flirty, she will be able to dim the lights by clapping her hands. That is freaking awesome. Just imagine it now, like the romantic music playing. What if they brought like couch woohoo? You know, blurred out but still. Or brought out that make out on the couch like boy in the love seat i mean boy in the sims 2 that that making out in the love seat that was that was raunchy that was woo woo anyway what if they brought that back but that'd be so cool to be flirting and just be like in the lights damn she also be able to wear expensive clothes by candlelight she'll be able to attempt riskier romantic actions i hope there's a ton of romantic action we've seen quite a few that were from the Sims 2 and 3, but I hope they bring even more. Previously only touched on buff smoothness is now explicitly laid out as discrete emotional states. According to Maza, there will be 15 of varying intensities. Although these things before although things may change before release, examples given angry, depressed, inspired, embarrassed, elated, and confident, with sad being a subset of depressed, as further examples. Players will be able to push these states onto a sim through their actions, as will the game, randomly. But states are balanced for persistence rather than whimsy. So that means, like, you know, by randomly, that means that your sim could, you know, have a nightmare or something and wake up on the wrong side of the bed, literally. But then we can also change them. So earlier in the different video, I said that I found out the different emotions. Apparently, I hadn't. So. There are 15 base emotions, and then they go off and branch off. So that means there are more than 15 emotions, essentially. So, say your base emotion is angry. It can branch off to cranky, furious. If your emotion is flirty, it can break off to passionate. The way we saw in the gameplay demo. So sad is the base emotion, which will break off into depressed. So that's super cool that you have base emotions, and then they go off. Embarrassed is an emotion. Elated? I was wondering, because I was like elated. They use that in the Sims 3 all the time. So rather than each interaction or even object you walk past creating a new emotional state, they should be seen as forces that magnify the current state. Grant Roddick asked us to envision emotions like traits, but temporary. So, yeah, we sort of said that. You can create unique stories. He also explains that there will be a diminished gameplay focus on needs fulfillment. With the current user interface actually showing no bars at all, only icons, and varying states of green, yellow, and red, and only requiring attention at failure level. Level. Now, when I read that, I was just like, are you kidding me? Uh, I don't know. No, I do know. I do not like that. Because the more The Sims has progressed, the less they focus on needs. And I know that, you know, your social life is a big part of the gameplay. But, you know, the Sims started out being focused on needs, and the more they progress, it's just, by the time we get to, like, Sims 5, you won't even have needs. You'll be just socializing. And I really hope they change that, because I remember the Sims 2, I could go two days without eating. My Sim would be about to die. I could eat, like, I don't know, a toaster strudel. That hunger would go up half a centimeter, a millimeter, seriously. 
on if if Thanksgiving had been in the Sims, then they would just eat and eat. In the Sims 3, I could go two days without eating, drink some juice, and my hunger bar would go all the way up. And I hated that because I just feel like part of helping the Sims feel realistic is, I don't know, the realism of the needs. And we did see in that user interface that at the bottom you just had the six needs and that was it. It wasn't no bars. And I want to know how close am I to dying of hunger? How close am I to passing out? So I feel like bars are necessary and I hope they change that. Even if it's just like right there and then you scroll over it and then the bar like comes up and you can see it. Even that just just oh I hope they don't take away the bars. Okay. That self-driven story stemming from emotional states underpin play and support in many ways. We see Sims multitasking, sitting, eating, and talking at the same time. Use a streamlined needs fulfillment. It also uh, de uh, demonstrates how supposedly simple animations like standing from sitting can now be completed and had the previous required time. Okay, so about multitasking, you know, we were able to do some multitasking in The Sims 3. You could walk with the baby, you could walk down the stairs with the baby, and then when your Sims was eating, then they would talk. I don't know if the social went up. I'm pretty sure it did. So it doesn't seem too new, but there are newer things. For example, they talked about, say you were working out. You were on the treadmill. You want to flirt with the Sim. You can flirt with the Sim who's working out on like the elliptical machine. And y'all can flirt while working out at the same time. Now that's an example of some good multitasking. They always give the talking and eating, the on the phone and watching TV which we can do before but a good example would be the workout multitasking so that really shows how multitasking can help more than one need at a time and one one i don't know interactions so you can do multiple interactions at the same time because you know previously if you were on treadmill and you want to play with someone you had to get off treadmill go to them they had to stop what they were doing and then you flirt now they just flirt and I hope that the animations are actually half the previous required time. That would be amazing. Because the Sims animations didn't seem to blow smoothly. Like say you told your Sim to go to bed. They would walk and it was upstairs. They would get up from their chair. Stop. It was like a telegram. Stop. Walk to the stairs. Stop. Take a step back. Then walk up the stairs. Stop. Walk to their room. Walk up to the bed. Stop take a step back and then get into bed so I really hope it's smoother because that to me just seemed so choppy the way they just blah 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 as a result of the studying experiment experimentation oh I can't read that I gotta read this okay so here's that couple I was talking about that I love I'm really ready to learn their backstory and I hope that's not him because his chest is like super duper wide but they didn't show that hairstyle and I like that hairstyle for the girls and I love this couple ah uh, or oh ooh, blue uh Cesaru. In previous itinerations, it was madly easy to get stuck in doorways or on staircases for literally hours of game time. Yes. On Pathfinder lead producer Lindsay Pearson says, We put a lot of effort into working on those nuanced behaviors. Nuisance behaviors. Nuance. The detail is in smaller pieces of animation, so Sims can take a little step to the side and move out of the way. Obstensibly, as many as 20 Sims can cross paths without colliding. I, uh, show me that. Like, stop saying it. Show the gameplay of that. Because, oh my god. We all know routing is so horrible. I hate throwing birthday parties in The Sims 3. Because it takes the whole party just to get the cake. You sit up there. Blow out the candles. Everyone's trying to walk over there. You can't never get no cake. Because they just sit there forever. Tap their foot. And then, like, two semi hours later, they, they finally feel the routing issues. And I really, 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 like... A lot of people have missed this, but I really hope they slow down time because I felt like in The Sims you can't do much because time is too fast. Even if it's just like two seconds per minute, that would still be slower and be easier to slow down time. Because like, say you try to wake up in the morning, wake up an hour before work start, and you try to go eat, drink, take a shower, use the bathroom. You can't do all that before work starts. All you can probably do is use the restroom and take a shower because then you still got the round where they stop for a second and then continue what they're doing then time's just super duper fast so i hope they slow that down as the result of study and experiment experimentation animators show how sims and groups can move naturally to accommodate people joining or leaving the interaction simply with the subtle head body turning and side stepping it's something small 
but quite evocative. Huh, I don't even know what that means. It's evocative, not provocative anymore. We're evocative. So, and, you know, they always did that little step to the side, but hopefully they'll react faster. Like graduation? Anyone who has Sims 3 University Life? You better get to your graduation before it starts, because you know, the first time I graduated, I didn't even graduate. No, they stood outside the whole time with all those rotten issues and just stood there and stopping and walk a step and then stop. And it, and then more people came and it was just crowded. Like, my sons didn't even get to go to their graduation because that's how horrible the rotten issues are. Also, as well, we have two sims feeling at the time, whether they're soulmates as well as house soulmates or just having a fling will influence their available romantic interactions oh so depending on what they see each other as that also depends on your romantic actions so i can see if you were friends with benefits because you have two bars now you have the friendship bar and the romance bar which i wonder is how is that going to work out with family members like do you have romance with your mom now that would be okay but anyway so you have two bars so I suppose if you weren't really friendly with each other, the only interactions would be like woohoo, kiss, make out, but you wouldn't have the proposal interactions. So I could see how that would play out. We hear a surprising number of mentions of woohoo and a rocket based on emotional state and tied to Glissandi for the educated ear. So yes, I said that in that gameplay they were woohooing in the rocket and apparently there was. There's a distinct astronaut career with unlockable rewards as home decorations so maybe that picture that that guy had he got that from being an astronaut gardening is back giving life to new plants and we know the base game was shipped with the piano violin and guitar skills so yes we're not just shipping with one instrument like the sims 3 with just the piano the cow plant will be returning with a new taste for feelings we believe it will eat emotional states possibly along with the person and create an essence that the sims can then drink strategically so i wonder what that affect the emotion because that's how the cow plant usually worked they ate the sim then you drank their essence so i wonder if they were in the anger emotion you get angry that'd be cool to see how that plays out this talks about create a sim pick a walk and then how walks can be over overridden which we saw these are just pictures that we also saw earlier of the sims and there goes that couple that i love so much i don't get them the name like i don't know he sort of reminds me of james bond they just seem like the perfect flirty couple like they seem more friends with benefits but then they do a ton of things together you can see them going out for dinner and all that stuff so so remember when the sims thing got a boob slider for all those important minor adjustments in the sims port you literally will grab and pull whichever body part you wish to manipulate with the cursor from irises and pupil to thighs to anything you can also now wear hats on your hairstyles and boots under your jeans rather than through associate producer jill john johnson shows us how easily to create a quite convincing version of herself so that's nice to see that and we know about that before i wonder how would that work like will you grab things and then scroll in and scroll out like that to pull it out or would you like say you want to make the eyes deeper you can't actually like push it up so would you scroll in and then i could see how you could pull out the nose by actually pulling it but would you scroll to push because you can't actually push so okay Integrated, oh crap, I know what they said. Blah, blah, blah. These are familiar experience, but they are now integrated into effective dimension as many designers emphasize with tactical focus. Most intuitively, the Sims 4 allows you to drag and drop from a library of pre furnished moldable room blocks, which can have all items and wallpaper and flooring you need for your color match kitchen or bathroom already attached. Foundations can be added after walls, which can be of varying heights with stairs stretched accordingly. Free, free, I don't know, freezes can be added with ease, then just click an auto window button for a quick finish. You can fully customize and shop if you like the old fashioned way, but this demonstration frankly makes building in The Sims 3 look unnecessarily time consuming and ungainly. I am in love with build by mode as like of what we've seen, look at that, that's a room that they're just about to piece together. That's just nice. So yeah, we know that they had that they told us and showed us how you can pick a room and drag and drop it and connect it and you can add a foundation to it i hadn't known about the windows until i read this because i hated putting windows especially because my windows never match so when i lived outside the house it was like oh big square window small circle window small square window medium size window that go like that like my windows never match so now you can match them and then 
you have pre libraries. They say it's like a magazine catalog, but we'll find out mostly for sure in the time to come. But yes, yeah, so like say you want to choose a living room. You actually it's sort of like blueprint mode. No, not sorta of, it is. But then you drag it, you put it in your room, and then it fits to the room. So say you had a huge room, it would spread it out the way that it would seem. If you had a smaller room, it would spread it out the way it would seem. So to put the furniture and relevance to how the room what the room size actually is so that's very nice they say the world's easier to navigate while ceilings are both expressive and more sensibly thanks to the careful pay animation i really hope they are easier to navigate although aspe aspects like needs fulfilling and creation sliders have been put under the hood so that's talking about creative style and needs which are lower now and gone Still confused as what to do with the medieval music and ice cubes. Though the base game initially feels sparse, sparser, the devil is in detail. So that's pretty cool. And that's about it. Between fear and awe. Emotion, there are potential for emotional manipulation here. Places are similar between fear and awe. There are major compositions. Taking the concept of Weber mini symphony movement down to micro symphony. So that's talking about how you play instruments. I guess. Or maybe that's talking about real life. You never know. Okay, a spot of self-reflection. Producers Lindy Pearson, Rachel Franklin, and Ryan Bond explains the new underlying system. Given Australian players, if purchasing their release, may have spent more than $600 on The Sims 3's base game and expansion packs. What one thing that made The Sims 4 worth starting over? We're going back to The Sims theirself. I'll just read like the basis of this. Having emotionally aware being has changed fundamentally how you play the game. Which parts of emotions... Oh, which part of the game do emotions interact with? They interact with another number of systems. When you construct the house, the objects you put will impact the emotions. You can have a sim, very, very talented painter, and when you hang the painting on the wall, it makes another sim flirty or sad when they see it. So I guess depending on their traits, will depend on how they react to emotion. So an emotion that could be super sad to one sim could be like super flirty to another sim. There are also opportunities to just wake up in a different emotional district state based on your sims dream that's pretty cool and then one thing i forgot to mention about memories is that you when you, when you make a memory you choose the emotional the state so then when you think the state emotional state so when you think about it it'll bring back that emotion so of course you have natural memories that do that but you can make your own and as opposed to making it you also choose the emotion and then it opens up new gameplay that you can only do when you're in certain emotions where rewards are found imagine the emotional system Within music, you'll be required to write three moving or mournful songs. That's pretty cool, which you can only do in a depressed state. Or a writer, if you really want a melancholy place, or write a wonderful novel that will, in turn, enchant your career. You can go into that melancholy place. So that's cool that you have opportunities based on emotion. So they'll tell you, as opposed to just writing an autobiography and going to interview that CM, it would say like, I don't know, write a very joyous book, which you can only write if you were in a joyous mood. How are success and failure treated within emotional states? If your sim is in an extreme emotional state like being mortified, there's a chance they could die from embarrassment, which I, I'm freaking afraid of. I could see the die of anger, but embarrassment? <sighs> Though even if you see an emotion as negative, there's potential to do cool things with it. The Sims is like giving players a canvas. Anger is often seen as a negative emotion of the state. If you're really angry, you're simply going to punch the bag hard or run on a treadmill fast and use your anger energy to help grow a skill. Some would think that always being sad is bad, but someone else might try to tell a specific story with that emotion. That's very nice. So we know that there are benefits and drawbacks such as death. <sighs> but I guess they're trying to, I hope the benefits outweigh the bad. I mean, but depending on the emotion. And then, I love how you can sort of see the story. This guy is an inspirational painter. These two obviously don't get along. I guess they're still fighting over, what's her name? Sophia. I'm pretty sure that gameplay they showed us was actual backstory of the Sims in their life. No. Okay. Yes. That's, we can go through the pictures now. Blah, blah, blah. See that? You see, they're four friends. That's pretty cool. And I like how you can do the smartphone camera picture with more than one person now. Basketball, which is in the game, and those two obviously have a crush on him. I don't know about him. He's like the evil doctor. She's someone. They're just a couple. But then she also has a boyfriend, or ex-boyfriend, from what we got from the trailer, who 
the redhead or the orange head is cheating on. She has an ex-boyfriend, but I guess she likes him now. And so does she. And nope, nope, I'm finished. These two are potentially sisters slash best friends because in the trailer, they gave each other a hug. Like, they're, they're actually releasing a little bit of background about these scenes. You just have to catch it. These two are obviously, like, friends with benefits couple. I love the new treadmills. They look nice. Except for that bulginess, but I just like the way they look. A little bit more on build by mood. The couple again, that's them socializing, started with the multitasking, drinking a drink. You can even double fish drinks, which like have two drinks at the same time, which is actually pretty cool. That's our first, one well, of our first glimpse, that's sort of a glimpse of food. I wonder could they eat and continue talking. A house right there. And we're back to that. So yes, that was this article. Thank you very much for Honeywell Sims 4 news and to Sims VIP because she had this on her website and that's how I saw this. And if you want to check it out, I will put the link to this even though you can see the link in the description below below yeah in the in the description below okay so thank you guys for watching there's also been little peeks at the rabbit hole or not rabbit hole little what's it called little easter eggs see rabbit holes easter eggs they started got me they've been doing easter egg trailers showing things that are potentially in the sims 4 so when all of those come out i might do a video about that and of course i'll be doing one after the embargoes are done but for now that is all thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i shall talk to you guys later and bye